Oh, we are now live. Now we're live. Now it's working. Right. <laughs> All right, so we're doing this class live on Instagram. And if you can't hear me, just let me know. Hopefully these ear things work a little bit. Okay, now let's just take those shoulders in a little bit of a roll. And back. And rolling up. And rolling back. Feeling how the band is drawing and pulling those shoulders around. And then change with um, direction. That's it. Good. And then just allow those arms to be pulled down by the band. And then just take your right ear over to the right shoulder and feel that left arm go a little bit more reaching towards your foot. And then taking the ear over to the other shoulder, feel how that left arm pulls away from you. Try and keep your collarbones nice and level with the floor. And then as you go over to the right shoulder once more, just have a little look down in towards your right armpit. Feel that stretch into the back of your shoulders. And then come back up. And then over to the right leg. And then looking down to your left armpit. And then coming back to the centre. Good. And then let's lie down onto our mat for me. So let's have a face side towards the beach and lie down. Good. And have your band in your hands and up to the ceiling. Okay, now if the bands are quite long, so if you want to just wrap them up a little bit, you can and you can just let them go double or you can bend knees and just have your feet back on the ground to start. We're going to build ourselves into our knees. All right, find a little stretch of that band out through your pinky finger. And as you inhale, find length through the spine and exhale, just float one leg up into tabletop. Inhale to lower, exhale, float the other leg into tabletop. So just alternating that leg lift at the moment. Floating one leg up, feeling the shoulders are nice and stable, width through the collarbones. And just have to the other leg up. And then holding that right leg up, float the left leg to join it, staying up there. Good. And go into a little toe tap to hit femur up. So reach your right knee away, pivoting at the pelvis and come back up. And then left leg. So feel how like that left thigh bone follows away from your hips without your hips moving. Good. Feel a little bit of a stretch and width through that band, 10%, and that narrow through that waistline. Good. Lovely, guys. One more each leg. And then we're going to take those knees towards our chest. Reach the arms over the toes so the band ends up behind your thighs. Good. That's it. Grab your ball and put it in between your ankles as well. So you might need to let go of your band. Arms reaching long, take an exhale, curl up that neck and shoulders. Find that thoracic flexion, take a deep breath into the back of the ribs, and then melt down all the way again. Exhale, feel that line through the head as you curl up, sliding your ribs down over your navel. Feel the lower back imprint into the mat, and then come all the way back up. Good. And you can always take props away at any time. And you guys, you're all instructors, so I want you to modify how your body is today. Otherwise, you just keep going with me. So I'm not going to kind of cue you, but I'm not going to modify you unless you want to modify yourself. Okay, so curling up to that next one, and we're ready to go into our hundreds, reaching those legs out along if you wish. Exhale, inhale into the back of the ribs, pump those up. Exhale, all up. Good, start to lower the legs if you wish, reaching out towards the bar, and maybe at eye height. Remember, you can always bring them back into tabletop if you need. Narrow through that waist and imprinting your lower back on the mat. That is really good start. You find a little bit more lightness and space in between the back of your ribs. Good, let's pump those arms a little bit more. Feel the bounciness out of those arms. Good, inflate the back of the ribs with your inhale. Exhale, curl up a little bit more. Looking really good, guys. Find that breath. Find that ease. Your last deep inhale. Exhale all that. Pull your knees into your chest and reach your band over the top of your legs and up over your head. Good. Take the legs up towards the ceiling. Good. And then slowly lower those legs down towards the ground. Good. So lower the legs towards the ground. All the way. Go 
arms up to the ceiling now and start to roll up. Exhale as you curl up. Reaching out. Now if you need a bit of assistance, wrap that band over your feet and use the band around the feet. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, start to roll down through your spine, reaching your fingertips long. Inhale, arm up and over your head. Good. Close those arms up. Exhale, curl back into the mat as you curl forward. Squeeze those legs. Inhale, nice and tall. Start to slide your sacrum out towards the wall as you go down, reaching that band away from you. Good. Nice, guys. Lovely roll up. If you want to get a little bit more advanced, keep those arms reaching by the side of your ears the whole time through the roll up and roll down. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit. Otherwise, reach those arms out towards your feet as you come up. Lovely, guys. Stack up nice and tall. And then roll all the way down. This time we're going to roll all the way down. Take those arms over your head and stay there. Shoot your legs out and up to the ceiling and over to your rollover. Now, if you need to let go of that band and bring the arms down by your side, you can. Flex your feet, squeeze your ball. Work the back of your legs and then start to roll down, pressing those legs away from you as you roll down. Now bridging is a great modification here, John, if you want to do some bridging. Reach those legs out towards the bar and then exhale as you float those legs up and over your body. Good. Feel a little squeeze of the ball, flex your feet and as you roll down, energize the back of your legs. Feel like you press the ball to the ceiling as you roll down. Find length back through that spine, especially that length of the spine. Good, nice. It's hard with those arms over your head. Good, reach the legs away. Exhale as you go over. Beautiful. More energy in those legs there. Just roll and length through the side of your waist. Slowly roll all the way down. On this next one, you can roll all the way down to the ground. Reach your legs long and lower then to the ground. Your left ankle will go on top of your ball, pressing the ball down to the ground. So your right foot is free. So left ankle on top of the ball. That's it. Now arms are a bit more challenging. How over your head or bring them up to the ceiling. Flow your right leg into the tabletop. Up to the ceiling for your one leg circle. Then put your arms up by your side. You've got option two. Inhale, cross your body. Exhale, nice energized circle out in the back. Inhale, box. Can you press down into your left leg a little bit more? It's so hard. Good. Remember, you can take that prop away or bend those elbows down by your side. Good. One more in this direction. Feel that lovely sweep and exhale. Let's change direction. Open it up. Sweep and reach it around. Press down into that supporting leg. Feel the freedom of that right leg reaching away from your hip. Last circle. Good. And then just roll your ball over to sort of cross you a little bit so your right foot can then angle and rest on that ball. Float that left leg up to the ceiling. Good. Press down into that right foot as you circle the leg across and around. Good. Circle the leg across and around. Hi guys, I hope you are enjoying the class. Let me know if you can't hear me. <laughs> Good. Circling it out and around. And down to the hips as we circle. Good, change direction. Press into that right leg as you go. Circle out and around. Beautiful, guys. Can you make the circle maybe a bit bigger, but keep that pelvis a little bit more stable? Is that possible? Good. One more time there. Nice big circle. Good. And then we're just going to roll that ball towards your bum. So kind of pull your legs in and grab that ball. Good, put it between your inner and your ankles. Good. And then hug your knees to your chest. Reach the band over the top of your legs. Great. And then curl up head, neck, and shoulders. So your band is reaching out. Good. Start to rock forwards and back into rolling like a ball. Inhale to rock back, sit bones to the butt. Exhale, sit bones to the butt, sit bones to heels. Good. And keep rocking. Nice guys. Inhale, exhale. Want a bit more challenge? Move that ball between your heels and your bum, if you wish. Inhale. That's it. And see if you can get that ball. Nice wins. Good. Use your lower bellies, guys. There's a little bit of flat backs going on. That's better, Annie. Good. Arms up to the ceiling, legs back up into tabletop. 
Add a little stretch of that band, curl up head, neck and shoulders, reaching your band over your shins. Lengthen out your right leg, reach it really long for one leg stretch. Exhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Good, stretch the band 10% as you switch. Little stretch, little stretch. Good, imprint that lower back onto the mat. That's it. Great, guys. Beautiful. Good, anytime you need a break, you can. Hold both knees in and reach that band a little bit further forward. Make it a little bit wider. Inhale, take both legs out, arms over the head. Stretch the band as you bring it back in towards your ankles. Inhale, reach, keep your chest in. Exhale, stretch and circle that back. Inhale, reach and feel that deepening into your core as you come in for your double leg stretch. That's it, guys. One more there. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl the way up. Hug your knees. And drop the back. Roll up into a seated position. And grab your ball if it's not too far away. And put it in between your legs. Open your feet out for your spine stretch. Take a nice deep breath here. And exhale. Let's push into the ball and roll forward. Finding deep flexion in the thoracic spine. Head reaching down. And then roll the way back up. Breeze back the spine. Exhale, dive up and over. Curling through the body. Deep press and massage the ball away. And then roll it back up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, curl and reach. Good. Find that deep breath into the back of the ribs. Pull the front of the ribs back into your body to find a bit more thoracic flexion for you guys. Exhale, curl and reach forwards. Deep breath, open up those ribs. And exhale as you come all the way up. Good, guys. Nice. Lift all the way up. Take your ball and place it onto your left foot and have your right hand pressing into it. Your left hand's going to come behind, but roll back. Just float your leg up, kind of pull it up with your leg and press out to the ball and lower back down. We're going to feel like a scoop to the belly and lift that press and then come back. Okay, scoop and lift up. Good. Let's try the other side. Roll the ball to the lower left. Right, sorry. Exhale, press the ball out, reach up and come back in. Good. So you can rock back a bit more onto your sacrum. See how that feels. Let's hold it there. Now, can you roll back a bit? Float the other leg up. We're going to do an open leg rocker like this. Alright, so inhale to roll back, or you can do it the normal way. Exhale to roll back. Press your foot hand into the ball, press your leg into the ball. Good. Two more with this leg. Beautiful, guys. Can you get a little bit more length than you from both sides of your waist? Switch over in the air in the top here. Balance, switch, press right hand to the left shin. Good. Use that left leg as well. Good. Beautiful. Nice, guys. One more. Hold it up there. So put that ball between your ankles. Squeeze the ball. Arms down by your side. Roll down away from your legs. Arms connect to the ground. Shoot your legs up and over your head for your core screw. Toes to the right corner of your mat. Roll down the right side. Circle those legs around. Roll up. Do some more bridging there, John. Do some bridging with the roll down one side. Roll up. Roll down the other side. Roll up. Good, guys. So find equal length through both sides of your waist as you're going into your core screw, guys. So a little bit more energy through your sit bones and lengthen through both sides of the waist so your spine comes to the centre of your mat. But you're just slightly over rotated so you feel that you come down through that side of your spine. Nice, guys. And then we've got that last one. Keeping yourself up. And then press your legs away. Roll back up into a seated position. Good. Let the ball just rest where it is. Open then your band. Open up your legs a little wider. Take your arms out along with the back. Your sore. Grow tall. Let's go to the right foot. Rotate. Dive down. Stretch that band even more. Inhale. 
how nice and tall. Exhale, use this little moment to really bring that breath back again. Inhale. Exhale. Can you feel that deep flexion in your body? Let's pull those ribs back in towards you a little bit. Good. Anchor your kicks down in your sore. Equal pressure on both those sit bones for me. Exhale. Inhale up. Your one more each side. Last one to the left. And then lucky people at the back and the front. Let's roll onto your stomach facing me. Keep your back in your hands and reach those arms. Oh, you're very sorry. Alright, so you've got the band. Just ignore it a little bit at the moment. It's just going to be in between your hands. Take your gaze forward for your squat. Lifting up. If you wish just to stay, a little squat as you can. Otherwise, all the way up. Good time. And then open up that spine into extension. Don't look like my own. All the way up. That's <laughs> really tight. Oh, it's like creaking your hand. I've got a stick from my session already this morning. My squat has done really well. <laughs> Roll away. Pressing out. Keep going, guys. Andre, I, I left my keys in there. Can you bring them for me? Sorry. And then let's go back into your child pose. So I've locked myself out of the studio. Can you go to have that nice little break there. And then we're going to come back for your one leg kick. So come onto your forearms and stretch that band a little bit. So take your hands and just pull it out. So you feel like you're doing a bit of external rotation in your rotator Good, keep pressing into the forearms, holding that band resistance. We're gonna bend the knee in towards your butt, pulse, pulse, reach out and lower. Exhale, pulse, pulse. And I realize I haven't told him where my keys are. Good. Sorry guys, it's always one thing or nothing, eh? Or everything or nothing. Good, can you all lift up out of your shoulders a bit more? Good, and let's get a bit more dynamic. In, in, out, lower. In, in, out, lower. Good, keep that pelvis really still. One more each side. Last one on that left. Good, and then reach the arms forward, loosen the band a little bit, and reach that band up over your head, so you're reaching it back towards your legs. Look out towards the window, bend the knees, three little pulses, flex, point, flex, then reach your band to your feet, lift your legs up, open your chest, double leg kick, and go again. So bend three, two, one, reach up. Three, two, one, reach up. Keep going, guys. All right, guys, last one. Three, two, one, reach up, hold it there. Good, take a deep breath in, guys. And then come all the way down, push yourself back into a child pose, release your back. Let's take a deep breath after that. And then we're gonna to start to face me again. So when you're ready, turn yourself around. Your ankles on top of the ball. So both legs together, legs straight, and your ankles. 
Grab it with your hands. Roll over and shoot your legs over your head. Good. Holding it there. Now you can always let go of the ball and use your hands there, John, for your lower back. Otherwise, you're going to scissor one leg up to the ceiling and the ball's going to start to thread like a basketball player through those legs. Okay? So you're going to thread the ball as you scissor your legs. That's it. Thread it through. That's it. Scissor legs go over. Yes. That's it. Passing the ball from hand to hand. You can do normal scissors. <laughs> Good. If you need to do normal scissors, let go of the ball. Yay! You're going to start the bicycle now. Bicycle your legs. Bicycle. Left foot is on the mat, arms down by your side. Exhale, tilt the pelvis towards you, bridge up. Good, feel the pressure down into the ball. Feel the pressure down into your left foot. And then melt all the way back down again. Now we can just do this, okay? You can just stay here. Otherwise, follow my cues. Coming up, bridging up. Feel the whole sole of your foot wrapped right around that ball. Can you press into the ball and float your left leg into tabletop? And then lower the left leg back down. Good. And again, press into the ball, lift the left leg to tabletop. Really steady. Lower back down. Next variation of tabletop, straight into the ceiling, shoulder bridge. If you press into the arm, open the chest a bit more. Lower that left leg down and down and up. Good. Flex your foot down. Point your toe up two more times. Get those hips up. Go on. Use that right foot. Pass the ball to your left foot. That's it. Good. Lovely. Press into that left foot. Bridge up. Opening up through the hips. Good. Go a little bit higher than a normal bridge. Into your shoulder bridge wall. And then melt all the way back down. Inhale the bottom. Press down into that left foot. Coming up. Nice and tall at the top. And then melt back down. Alright, now it feels good, you're going to add on. So press down into that left foot. Press into it, flow up. Right leg into the femur arm. Toe tap down, bring it up again. Good. Toe tap down, it feels good. Take the leg up, straighten the leg, flex your foot, reach it low with the toe up. More time. Can you get that left hip a little bit more lifted for me? Great, guys. Last one. And then lower the leg. Good. Coming back down. Take your legs out nice and straight. Roll back up to a seated position. Just let the ball just be wherever it needs to be. Grab your band as you come up. Now that ball can be just in between your legs to give you a nice little bit of feedback to keep your hips still. Take your arms up to the ceiling for our spine twist today. Okay? So nice and tall. You can always have an ankle. So growing tall through the spine, exhale, little double pulse, to the right, exhale, double pulse, left, good, feel like your head is trying to grow up into your back, beautiful guys, feel that nice openness through your ribs, different arm position if you need, exhale, twist, exhale, twist, good, really good guys, last on each side, can you grow a little bit taller? We're going to get ready for our track night. Our ball is in between our ankles. Hmm? Oh, Alright, so squeeze that ball. Arms out in front of you. Start to roll down. Either take the arms and let the go of the band or arms overhead for your track night. Good. Take those legs straight up to the ceiling and find that leg. So reach up to the ceiling for jackknife. Good. And then you can just take the legs straight up and just straight leg lower than that. And then lower those legs back down. 
Start to roll down out of your jackknife, keeping your head on the ground. Good. Reach those legs out towards the bar. Exhale as you roll over. Reach your feet to the mirror behind you. Then up to the ceiling. Exhale, pipe up. Can you get those legs vertical up to the ceiling? Shoot them up. Fold back over. Roll back down. Good. Give that little ball of squeeze as you jackknife up. Good. This time I'm going to go over. See, maybe if you want to do a few jackknives up. Exhale to get those legs up. Opening up the side of the waist. Inhale, fold into the hips. Exhale, jackknife your back up again. Good. Squeeze through those legs. That's it. Find those hips level off from your wrists. Get that job. Oh, look at that. Last one. Jackknife it all the way up. And then let catch your ball with your hands. So you're going to let go of that ball, catch it, and roll all the way down. Legs go to the ground. And then lie onto a side facing me. Put the ball underneath your rib. Hands behind your head so your elbow is on the mat for your side kick. That's it, so the ball's under your rib. That's it, and then you're going to have your elbow under my head. Yes. Go straight and out both those legs. Modify with the bottom bend leg. Okay? Nice and long. Lift up. Find that lift off the ball and not so much collapse into the ball. Reach out through that top leg. And inhale long. Exhale to reach out through the top leg. Good. Put into your side kick. Can you press down a little bit in that bottom leg? So reaching out and up. Reaching out and up. Good. Do you feel you press into the ball more when your leg lifts up? Can you lift off the ball as your leg lifts up? That's better, ladies and gentlemen. Good. Hold that leg up. Inhale to bring it forward. Flex your foot. How far can you go without wobbling on that ball? Exhale, put your toe back. Beautiful. You might want to take that hand to help. You might want to bend that bottom knee to help. Happy guys. Inhale forward, folding in the hips. Exhale. To Press all the way back. Inhale to fall forward at the hip. And exhale. Good. And then go forward. Start to circle your leg out and back. Nice big circles today. Go forward, circle out and back. Good. Change direction. Take that leg back. And go for up and over. Good. Pressing down the hand if you need to. Sweep the leg back. Good. Last one. And then one little change of direction. Now, as you go forward, sweep the leg back. Grab your ball and roll over to the other side. So you let the wind will kick your leg. Whee! Yeah, I love that one. Oh. And then shimmy back to your mat. <laughs> and you just want to hold floor or mat. Yeah. You need that jar right now. Let's get that grip. That ball under the rim. Reach out along with those legs. Slightly forward to give you a little bit more balance. Good. Hands in front of the head. Just on your elbow. You feel the lift. And then reach out with that leg. Do you go heavier in that ball? Find that lift up off from that ball when you reach out. Nice, guys. Reach it out. Good. This side. Not more stable. Beautiful. Three more. And then hold that leg up there. Flex with the hip. Inhale, bring that foot forward. Point your toes, send it back. Inhale, flex and fold. Exhale. Good. Use that hand if you need. Bend that bottom leg a little bit if you need. Good. Use your breath. Nice lift. You got it. And then next time you come forward, let's circle that leg forward. How and back. How big can that circle be? And circle out and back. Change direction. Good. Sweep it back. No. That's it, guys. Lovely. Last one. No more with your hips, sadly. Just going to grab that ball out and try that. Take the ball into your ankles. So just lift it. <laughs> So your legs are long, squeezing the ball. Arms up, up over your head. Ready for your teeth. 
the lower back. Press down and lift up. And lower back. Good. Hold it up. Your five leg lifts off that right leg. Good. Press into the ball to help lift that right leg a little higher. Good. Scissor those legs. Nice, guys. And then come on down. Let's turn and face me. Pull that arm towards you. And come up into your knees. Everyone, take your ball into your right hand. Over your 
on, so toes out instead of toes in.
keep rolling and catch it. Yes. Roll up to standing. Rolling down. So roll down, yeah, keep with the back of your neck. And then kind of push the ball, push, walk, push, walk, push, walk. Got it? Right then, add it under one hand. Little bicep, tricep push up. Roll to the other hand. Tricep push up. Good. Tuck your toes back under if you're on your knees. And then little roll and walk.
and I'm going to save the video and add it to our YouTube channel. So you can always do that. Good guys. And then let's just hold it back there. Let your arms go long if they, that feels good over your head or right to the side, wherever it feels good. Your legs can go long or your legs can bend. What does your body feel like it needs today? And breathe. Really feel like you open up your body as you breathe there. Nice, guys. Oh. Send that inhalation deep into any areas of your body that feels a little bit tight. to let you guys stay there for a few minutes because we never let go. I say goodbye to the video. Hope you enjoyed it Lauren and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.